Brackets create tricky situations when solving polynomials problems. We have to be careful of brackets, especially when there's a minus sign before the bracket. Let's do some examples and see how to do this. Here we have 6x cubed plus, and we have a bracket. Inside the bracket, 8x squared minus 14x cubed. Because there's a plus sign before the bracket, we can remove the bracket, and nothing much changes at all. We have plus 8x squared minus 14x cubed. Now we just combine similar terms and give our final answer. 6x cubed minus 14x cubed is negative 8x cubed. And then the plus 8x squared is not a similar term with the others, so we keep it. We're done. But this one has a minus sign before it. And what will happen is the minus sign affects the entire bracket, not just the first term. So when we remove the bracket, we have to fix the signs for everything on the inside. We have 12x to the 4. Minus 9x to the 4. Minus plus means minus 15x squared. And minus minus means plus 3x cubed. Now we combine similar terms. 12x to the 4 minus 9x to the 4 is 3x to the 4. Minus 15x squared is the only x squared term. And plus 3x cubed is the only x cubed term. That's our final answer. Here's a long one, but it doesn't really make it any harder because we do the same technique and we just work with the brackets one at a time. Removing the first bracket, which has a minus sign before it, we get 3x squared minus 5x minus plus means minus 3. Here we have a plus sign before the bracket, but be careful, the term on the inside has a minus sign with it. So plus minus means minus 2x. Plus minus means minus 4x squared. Here's a minus sign before a bracket, and the first term inside has a minus sign. We have minus minus, which means plus 6x squared. Minus plus means minus 4. And finally, here we have a bracket where we only have one term on the inside, but the bracket is being used to be clear that it's a negative one that is being subtracted. Minus, negative 1, means plus 1. Now we just have to combine similar terms. For the x squared terms, we have 3x squared minus 4x squared, which is negative 1x squared, plus 6x squared is equal to positive 5x squared. And we can cross out the x squared terms so that we don't get mixed up with them later. For the x terms, we have minus 5x minus 2x, which combines to give minus 7x, cross them out. And then the constant terms, minus 3, minus 4, which is minus 7, plus 1 means minus 6. This is our final answer. Brackets are tricky when they have minus signs before them, but you just have to remember to fix the signs as you remove the bracket.